So here we're just going to get into data types and also variables. But first off, we'll start with variables. So what do I mean by a variable? Well, let's uh, let's have a look, shall we? So if you see these print statements here, you can see that I've used the word Bob four times within these print statements. And I've also used the word peaches four times within the, the, within the uh, print statements. Let's print that out, just make sure it works. So Bob is a silly man. He has 97 peaches. Bob loves his peaches. Bob loves eating those peaches. You cannot separate Bob from his peaches. A problem comes when I want to change the name of Bob to Paul. Okay, you see how I have to change every single line here. That's four lines I've had to change. Let's imagine that this a bunch of sprint print statements is a much larger story of maybe four or five thousand lines and in those four or five thousand lines the name of the character is mentioned a thousand times by this method i would have to change the character name a thousand times this is where variables come in so if you see here below instead of putting the name of the man is a silly man all in quotation marks i put character name is a silly man and food item is a silly man this refers to something called a variable that i haven't actually assigned and in order to assign a variable i declare the variable name which in this case will be character name and i give it a value so i say that it is equal to with one equal sign quotation marks paul I've also used this variable here, food item. Food item is equal to peaches in this case. I'll print this out and then I'll print this out. Paul loves his peaches. Paul loves eating those peaches. So instead of using the name Paul, the word Paul here, and the word Paul here, and the word Paul here and here, I've put the word or the value of a string of Paul into the character name here. And this character name is a variable that holds the value of Paul. The same with this food item. And I've replaced every part where I'd use um, the actual character name or the food item instead of using the raw text the raw uh, string itself i've just replaced it with the name of the variable where appropriate yeah to prove this i will change the names of both variables i'll change the name of food item to apples and character name to daniel and you'll see after executing these they both change appropriately. And so basically that's how a variable works. The idea is a variable can store a value that may be used over and over again so that things, mistakes like this uh, don't occur. An example of this would be perhaps a number, let's call, uh, let's, let's say number one, yeah? Number one is equal to 88, for example, right? And so we can print number one from a print statement I made earlier. And it comes out as 88. Yeah. We can even have a uh, numero uno, shall we say. For those of you who speak Spanish. Los que hablan español. 96. Numero uno. Yeah. And we can print numero uno here and it comes out as 96 therefore i've showed you that this these these here variables can be printed instead of the raw value being printed this might be valuable let's say i want to print both of those numbers as an addition so i want to print number one plus numero uno this should come out to i'm not sure but should be 180 or something like that 
There we go, 184, that's probably right. 96 plus 88, yeah, I'd say that's right. Now we'll say 88 minus 96, so this should be minus 8. Numero uno minus, number 1 minus numero uno. And that is minus 8, so it's correct. And this has saved me from typing out the numbers. But let's imagine that there's a statement with, uh, a print statement with lots of numbers. Num4, num5. I haven't assigned these, so these won't work, for example. And then below, I want to use the same numbers, etc., etc. And they might change out over time, you know. I might make it so that number 1 is equal to numero uno plus number 1. Okay. And now, if I print number 1, it should be 184. So I've changed that value and the variable has kept the new change value. Here, it's reassigned the value. Yeah? And that's why variables are useful. Now, there's something called data types. If, if you'll notice here, these two numbers and uh, these two uh, words... These words here are in quotation marks, and this signifies that they are of data type string. And these here are not in quotation marks at all, because they are numbers. They're raw numbers. They're actually referred to as integer. If I try and use a number with a text uh, value in a print statement, it won't print anything. It'll actually come up with an error, because there are two separate data types being printed there unsupported operand for int and str so because that's a string and because of those are integers the addition of those two doesn't work you know it won't it won't actually produce any kind of output because it would be like me um instead of trying to put a brick on top of a brick and put many bricks on top of each other to make a house or to make a structure I put a tomato on top of a brick and uh, I'd get an error there because if I kept putting tomatoes on bricks or bricks on tomatoes, the tomatoes will just stack and then fall over. Whereas bricks are made to fit with other bricks. So they would make a house. It's the same as this. There are actually several other data types as well and none of them, well there's two of them that actually can be used together but the rest of them can't be used with each other and I'll get into what those are now so I've named them all different names there's one here called string data which you can see has the quotation marks and this is a string these whenever you see these text data types in Python they are of type string and you cannot use them with other types of data unless you convert the other types of data to a string or you convert the string to other types of data somehow the next type is a type integer these are numbers that are all uh, whole numbers so no decimal numbers and they are known as integers the third type are known as floats or floating point numbers but it's known as type float these are any numbers that have a decimal point and they're also those weird e 4.7 uh, minus numbers that you get from calculators as well floating point numbers there's also another one called boolean which can have a value of true or false if you notice here there they both both these uh, boolean values true and false start with a capital T and a capital F if you try to write true like this it will not actually work as true must be written with a capital letter in order to be a type boolean with value true and false must be written with a capital F to be a boolean of value false if you write them with uh, lowercase letters they will not work okay so if I add an integer to a floating point number that will actually calculate Python will calculate that for me so if I add 99 to 99.1 I will actually get 198.1 see that there 
uh, because floating point numbers and integers can actually be used together. However, if I try to add, and I'll, I'll do it now, I'll, I'll initialize these, string data, yeah? If I try to add string data, which is a, a type of string, plus num2, it'll just come up with an error, because I can't add them together. That would be like me saying, why why don't you add the uh, the word and to the number 99? It can't be added to the number 99, because that's illogical. Now, I can add the word and and a space to the word this, and then I'll get the word, I'll get the cent, well, I'll get the two words separated by a space, and this, because they're of similar type, okay? Another thing I can't do is add the numbers uh, to a boolean. I can't add a boolean uh, to a string data, e to a string type either. So string data plus bool one doesn't work, doesn't work because you can only add a string to a string. Uh, bool two plus number three. It also, oh, it did come out for some reason. That's strange. I suppose that's because it's false, but it hasn't come out as 99.1 false. You see, it hasn't come out properly. Num3 plus bool2 plus bool1. Ah, I see why that's working. I'll explain this another time, but for now uh, we'll leave that. So this has added a number but it hasn't given me what I want. I don't know if there's a true, I don't know that there's a 99.1, a true and a false. It's just given me the number 101. The reason, the reason why it's given me that number is because the value of a boolean is either zero or one. So a true actually has a value of one and, sorry, a true actually has a value of one and a false actually has a value of zero. Hence that bool two didn't affect it, but the bool one will affect it so these can actually be added together i'm wrong there but their usage doesn't actually make sense see that the usage of them doesn't make any sense you know that's not an addition of a false and a number that's just the value of uh, a boolean there anyways i'll prove that they have the type that i've said they are by using this command and it's type vet of whatever variable so let's say food item and it will tell me what type of variable i'm dealing with this should come out as a string str there type of string data should come out as a string type number two this should come out as an integer as int type number three as float type of bool one should be boolean or bool type of bool two is also bool and to prove that we can print these all out on their own, I will print them out on their own. And they've all printed out of their own accord. If I try to print the string data with the uh, with number two, nothing will come of this due to there being two different data types. I actually can't print the string data with a boolean either because a boolean isn't a string. So in order for me to use these together, I have to convert one form to another if I want to use them in a way it's understandable. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next one, I guess.